girl born with unique apple red hair. She meets a famous yet foolish prince, Raji, who falls in love with her at first sight and orders her to become his concubine. With nowhere else to go, Shirayuki cuts her hair in frustration and escapes to a neighboring country. While journeying through the forests, she meets a young boy named Zen who helps her after she boldly cures his wounds, but he then gets poisoned by an apple which was gifted by Shirayuki. Meanwhile, Prince Raji sends out henchmen to search for her. What will happen to Shirayuki? What is Zen's true character? This anime is a refreshing fantasy story between an optimistic heroine and a prince who constantly stays on. <laughs> 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 has recently become a co-ed school. However, with the female population still remaining minority even after the change over the recent years, Misaki Ayuzawa works hard to make the school a better place for girls. Misaki Ayuzawa is the first female student council president at a once all boys school turned co-ed. She rules the school with strict discipline. She is nicknamed Demon President by the boys for her strict disciplinary style. Misaki Ayuzawa is not afraid to use her mastery of Aikido techniques to cast judgment onto the hordes of misbehaving boys and defend the girls of Seika High School. But she has a secret. She works at a maid cafe due to her family's circumstances. One day, the popular A student and notorious heartbreaker Takumi Usi finds out her secret and makes a deal with her to keep it hush from the school in exchange. Homebody, who dresses down and looks after her younger brother, Sota, and does various chores in her mother's stead as both her parents are busy due to work. She takes every attempt to hide this from her classmates, leaving no chance to socialize away from school. Whilst Miyamura is known to be a lonely otaku from his fellow classmates' perspective, he is in fact, in reality, a gentle person inept at studying. To her surprise, he has nine piercings hidden behind his long hair and a tattoo along his back and left shoulder. By sheer chance, Hori and Miyamura cross paths outside of school, neither looking as the other expects. These seemingly polar opposites become friends, sharing with each other a side they have never shown. <laughs> Loved and framed as a wholesome, cute, fluffy rom-com as we see the daily lives of a newly wed yet innocent couple. On a snowy night, Nasa Yuzaki, a high school student-to-be, spots a beautiful girl across the road. Deeply attracted by the girl, Nasa steps onto the road but is struck by a truck as he ends up heavily injured. In the face of death, Nasa reaches out to the girl and confesses his love. Barely alive thanks to the girl's intervention, Nasa musters the courage to confess his love to her, fearing she might otherwise vanish from his life. She accepts his proposal on one condition, marriage, which of course Nasa accepts before falling unconscious. Upon waking, Nasa finds that the girl is nowhere to be found and becomes miserable as he sets aside his previous goals and focuses on finding the girl. Grades in the country, Miyuki Shirogane leads the prestigious Shukchin Academy Student Council as the president working alongside the beautiful and wealthy vice president, Kaguya Shinomiya. The two are often regarded as the perfect couple by students, despite them not being in any sort of romantic relationship, nor any experience in that matter. However, the truth is that after spending so much time together, the two have developed feelings for one another. Unfortunately, neither is willing to confess, because doing so would be a sign of weakness. 
In their mind, whoever confesses is the loser. With their pride as elite students on the line, Miyuki and Kaguya embark on a journey to do whatever is necessary to get a confession out of the other. Through their daily antics, the battle of love begins with results in an increasingly ridiculous number of mind games in which they end up outsmarting. <laughs> Sometimes the cute girls. Furatu Usuji is an ace high school student but leads an otherwise tough life. His standoffish personality and reclusive nature have left him friendless and his father is debt ridden, forcing his family to scrape by. This high school boy must work part time to help five sisters study so they can graduate. But the only thing these quintuplets have in common isn't only that they fail in every exam they partake in, but they also despise studying. Five girls who want to do anything but study and their tutor, a high school student who's got book smarts and not much else. Furatu Usuji took the tutoring job because he was...